Hey guys, it's Mark from BSG coming to you live outside of Long Beach Comic Expo. You can see all the cool cars behind me, Herbie, Jurassic Park, all that. We're gonna go inside and talk to the local Long Beach artist, Carla Wizgala. Uh, you may have seen her on our Instagram before. If you didn't, make sure to follow us and look for that. Uh, we're gonna talk to her about uh, what inspires her art, the importance of digital marketing for, for artists nowadays, and anything and everything in between. So let's head inside. So now we're inside here at Carla's table. Uh, <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> so Carla, tell us, you know, you've got a little bit of, of everything, sci-fi, fantasy, some, some comic book, like what yeah. inspires your, your artwork? Um, right now, I mean, I'm definitely mostly inspired by pinup. You can tell that a lot of it is burlesque themed. Um, I have a lot of animal skulls as well, which has been my passion for, well, since 2011. Okay. Um, I've been growing the series Skull Mastering. All right, and then, like, when did you start your artwork? Was it in 2011, or did you kind of have something going on before that? That was my first solo show, um, so that was kind of a big moment of figuring out my own um, style. But before that, I I was always drawing as a kid, so I went to art school as well, um, the American Academy of Art in Chicago. So what brought you out to, to Long Beach in particular? The weather. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's a lot more um, opportunity here. I do conventions regularly, and there's a ton in the West Coast as well. Uh, but I do frequent Chicago a lot too. Okay, and then for maybe someone out there that's watching this is kind of an up-and-coming artist, like how do they go about getting into like the convention scene? The convention scene, the best way to go is to, to attend. And uh, you just have to attend and walk around and get ideas, get inspired. Uh, I really love when people come to my table and ask me questions about my process. Um, if we have, if the person behind the table has time to answer, I would ask all the questions you can and work on the, the time at home to build up enough images to actually put a book together. This is a shout out to an artist that we both know, Carissa Rose. Yeah. When you came into our <laughs> office last time, you, you saw one of her like, pieces. Hey. And, I know you kind of mentioned that, that she was someone that helped you start sort of getting the SEO of Etsy together and a little social yes. media. Like, how she's, important is that for She's an artists? Etsy queen. Um, yeah, I think knowing your searchable terms is very important. And it's something that, as a traditional artist who has never big on the web, um, when I first started, I had no idea how to get people to look at my art. Um, I knew how to do that at a show uh, because they're all here and you can you can capture their attention with the most uh, eye-catching images and bright colors but on the web I was clueless so um, figuring out what type of um, titles to put on images and all that. You right. helped You <laughs> helped a lot with that Thank recently <laughs> to make it even better. It seems like there's a really big movement you know, in Long Beach with, with artists. There's a lot of murals going up on the wall, especially you know, yeah. here in downtown. You have your Long Beach I do. inspired piece here. My Queen Mary Mermaid. Um, yeah, I think Long Beach and California in general has given me a lot of new inspiration. Um, there's artists everywhere and not that it wasn't in Chicago, I think it's just more geared towards um, illustrative um, genre. So. so, like as far as your art, you know, where would you like to be in a few years? Obviously still here, you know, Long Beach Comic Expo and Comic Con, but... You know. um, yeah, I definitely like doing cons. Um, I'm hoping to do a little bit more um, live streaming as well that will hopefully open up to an outlet of actually being able to teach a little bit of what I do. Um, my main main brainchild that's needing to get birthed is um, giving life to this lady. So I am currently putting that all together and figuring out what that means. Um, probably story content. I definitely am working doing more sequentials for the future um, and figuring out how to do that more uh, time efficient with watercolor for the next couple years. So I know 
since, since you mentioned live stream, you just started your own Twitch channel, right? I just started Twitch. Um, I'm hoping that it can be an outlet for me to kind of communicate with people from all over the world um, and be able to show my process in real time. I do time lapses on Instagram, but it, it's not very helpful if you want to know <laughs> yeah. the real the real struggle because it looks like magic. <laughs> yeah, I've heard that people will stream for like eight, ten hours at a time. Yeah, I don't know if that's in my future, <laughs> but um, my paintings tend to take like two to three hours okay. tops. Um, I mean, some of them could take a little bit longer, but I hope to show start to finish painting process. Okay, yeah. that would be really cool. Yeah. Is there any other advice that you could give for you know some artists that are either just getting into the scene? Or sure. Um, yeah, I think I think using tools like Instagram and Twitter um, are kind of essential at this point in time. Um, nothing that I was trained on in school because it wasn't really around yet. <laughs> So I've been self-taught on that, but um, I think posting, uh, you know, content that people actually want to see and making sure that you are um, staying relevant and keeping people's attention is kind of key nowadays. Um, and just creating good work. You have to create good work. <laughs> <laughs> right. I was like, well, thanks for having us here. Comic Expo is my first time. Don't Yay. don't tell anybody that I've been to Long Beach Comic Con before, even though it's on video. It's so. such a nice little show to uh, actually be able to talk to people and be able to do this. You couldn't do this at San Diego. We could. You just wouldn't be able to hear. You us wouldn't at be all. able to hear us. <laughs> all right. Well, thank cool. you very much. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Thanks for tuning in. Um, I have a few different social media plugs here. I am Carlations Art on Etsy where I have my new Blue Eyes and the Beastling graphic novel. Full watercolor, my newest little baby. Um, I am Carla Wizgala on Instagram and I'm Carlations on Facebook and then I just got my Twitch account and I'm Carlations Art on Twitch. Come find me.